loss of reflection of sound. Take a reflection of sound apparatus that consists of two cylindrical hollow tubes, a sound reflecting surface, a protractor and a timer. Move the lower end of tube 1 towards the left at an angle of 20 degrees on the protractor. Now, position a timer at the mouth of tube 1. You can hear sound waves passing through tube 1. Move the lower end of tube 2 to catch the sound waves from tube 1. Once the maximum volume is obtained through tube 2, fix the tube at that angle. Note the angle of incidence and angle of reflection. Both are 20 degrees. Move the lower end of tube 1 at an angle of 40 degrees on the protractor and position the timer at the mouth of tube 1. You can hear sound waves passing through tube 1. Now, move the lower end of tube 2 to catch the sound waves from tube 1. Once the maximum volume is obtained through tube 2, fix the tube at that angle. Note the angle of incidence and angle of reflection. Both are 40 degrees. Move the lower end of tube 1 at an angle of 60 degrees on the protractor and position the timer at the mouth of tube 1. You can hear sound waves passing through tube 1. Now, move the lower end of tube 2 to catch the sound waves from tube 1. Once the maximum volume is obtained through tube 2, fix the tube at that angle. Note the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. Both are 60 degrees. Move the lower end of tube 1 at an angle of 80 degrees on the protractor and position the timer at the mouth of tube 1. You can hear sound waves passing through tube 1. Now, move the lower end of tube 2 to catch the sound waves from tube 1. Once the maximum volume is obtained through tube 2, fix the tube at that angle. Note the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. Both are 80 degrees.